Hi guys, David Jennings here from the Online Trading Mastermind and we had a fantastic uh, lot of feedback come back in regards to Justine's last video presentation that we did and she talked a little bit about how she trades the, the market and I thought uh, I'd ask again to see if I could uh, get some of her time and get her to give a little bit of a commentary as to what's going on in the market at the moment. There's been you know, a lot of things going on and the market has uh, tanked quite a bit and Justine's uh, in there trading it both on a, a shorter term basis and a longer term basis so I think her insights will be invaluable but just want to welcome you to the call. Justine are you there? Yes I am, thank you David. Excellent, thanks uh, Thanks for jumping on. I'll pretty much just hand it straight to you and if you just want to uh, take us through what you've put together and just give us an insight as to what's going on in the market and how you're approaching it and uh, profiting from the mm -hmm. what's going on. Great, okay. So before we start, I'll just do the housekeeping. Yeah. Um, just to let everybody know I'm not a licensed financial advisor. I'm not here to provide you with investment advice. Um, you may need to get your own financial advice um, elsewhere. Uh, so I'll just give you a moment just to have a quick read of that and then we can move on. Okay, so what I'm going to be covering today is the market conditions because it's been one wild ride in the market at the moment with increased volatility, markets breaking down so we'll have a look at some charts and go through that. I want to discuss how you handle losses because I'm sure some of you if you have been trading long in this current market you may have hit some losses in the market as well and, and how you go about handling that. Now that the ASX market has broken down and appears to be in a stage 4 downtrend which is what we call a bear market. I want to talk about how you would trade a bear market. And then I'm going to show you some of my actual short trades. So when I say short, I mean short selling. So trading long is when you're a buyer with the goal of selling at a higher price. Trading short is when you're selling with the goal of buying back at the lower price. So you're basically making money on a falling share. And then we'll go through some question and answer time with David throughout the presentation. Okay, so let's have a look at the market. Here I've got a chart of the XJO, which is the ASX 200. Um, this chart is of the last 10 years. So you can pretty much see um, from mid-2003 through to the global financial crisis, um, early 2008, we were in a clear bull market. Now this is a weekly chart with a 30-week moving average on the chart, and I have the uptrend line drawn on there so you, you can see the healthy part of the market. Then the market collapsed during the global financial crisis and it's falling below that 30 week moving average and that's what a stage 4 downtrend looks like. When, it's, when the candlesticks, uh, excuse me, when the candlesticks are predominantly below that moving average line, that's when we have a stage 4 downtrend and a bear market in place. Then the market um, caught its breath and moved sideways for a period of about six months and then it broke up to new highs and started moving higher and that's when we moved into a healthy market. But from there it's moved into a stage three top again and we've just had a support break. So let me zoom in on a chart now of, of the last three years so you can see that in more detail. So we can see where the global financial crisis hit and the share market was falling. We can see where it's recovered in here and it's risen back up and it's built up a nice support level around the 4500 mark. But then it has now collapsed below 4500 and all these charts were based on um, the close on the 21st of May. So that's just so you know what date the charts were. So this is how the weekly charts looked on that date. With the way now it's, this is it's, how the ASX, sorry? I was going to ask, with the way that it's bounced back um, or after the global financial crisis and then it's rallied back quite hard, uh, it almost felt like not a, a V formation but it, it really has rallied quite hard afterwards. Just interested to get your thoughts on uh, that, like obviously you were trading and taking advantage of that, that rally up but what are your thoughts on the uh, health of the, the the financial markets because it's you know there was some significant reasons as to why it all broke down for the GSC and then has rallied back so hard and I'm just wondering if you know what your insights at seeing it starting to break down now is that uh, yeah 
What's, what's well, the, for me, uh, my stop loss is always lead. So, what it ha I'll, I'll probably what I best do is detail how I've handled the move that you're seeing on your screen. So, when the markets broke down over here with the global financial crisis, I was obviously mostly net long in the markets, and um, my stop losses started to get hit. And as I mentioned in the last presentation, I have a weekly long-term system and a daily system. And my weekly long-term system is to hold for the long term. Now, all the stops in that weekly system start to go with the last one going uh, um, January 2008. And that system didn't get turned back on until mid last year when the market started to make new highs. So I sat out of that system for a year and a half. But because I have stop losses in place, it took me out of the market, so I didn't have to sit in all those shares falling. But with my daily system, I short sold through that period and made some nice profits just short selling with the occasional long trade thrown in, but most of my trading was, bit, was short at that time. For me, the hardest times to trade is when the market turns sideways. So when it based, um, you, you're up and down. You've got trades showing up on both sides. But when we get the break to new highs and the health coming back in, um, which happened around the May, June area last year, um, I found myself net long in the market again. My weekly system was turned back on and I was building up a portfolio again. Now, unfortunately, most of those shares, but one that I shared with you last week, have hit their stops So with the, sh with the market falling because I have stop losses set and they've all collapsed. And a lot of them look like this chart. <laughs> Um, but in the meantime, with my daily system, because I trade both sides of the market, I've been trading long and short through this sideways period, but have found myself being net short just before this collapse happened because I was getting a lot of short signals. And in the Australian market, I pretty much just have daily short signals open, um, daily trades on the short side, and the weekly system isn't trading at this stage. It's, it's sitting in the position that it still has open where its stop hasn't been hit, but I have had a whole series of stops hit all at once. Yeah. And that's why last presentation I wanted to share one of those trades where I have now exited out and show one that was still running.